Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Mike. Welcome back to Money and Life TV, where we teach finances, investing, and taxes. Hey, just so you guys know, if you're checking us out for the first time, this video is gonna be a little different than a lot of my other normal content, so just be aware of that. I wanted to talk to you guys today about a topic that's really been on my mind and weighing on me, and I wanted to ask you guys, like, if you think of it this way, like, how prepared are you if somebody were to break into your home and steal your possessions, if they were to steal your computer and your files, how much financially would that set you back? How much peace of mind would you lose and how much time would you lose because those things were stolen? So just think about your property, think about what you own, think about what's really important to you and what are you doing to pr protect that? I talk about wealth building a lot on this channel through you know managing your taxes, managing your investments and things like that, but it's just as important, in my opinion, to protect your assets as they are so that you can continue to grow your wealth. You can't grow your wealth if you can't protect what you already have. So that's a lot of what we're gonna talk about today. Now, if you guys are like me, you've been watching the news and hopefully not the mainstream media news, but if you're like me, like I go on YouTube to get a lot of my news because it's independent. It's not the mainstream media telling me what I should believe or what I should think and just hear things from different perspectives. Now, I'm sure you guys have been paying attention to what's going on. You're seeing the wide-scale violence across this country. If you're looking over at the West Coast, you're seeing the large fires that have consumed hundreds of thousands of acres at this point. And so the point of that is you don't really know what's going to hit you in life. You don't know what's going to attack you or try to take away your, your life, your assets, whatever it may be. So you have to keep these things in the back of your mind at all times. And how do you protect yourself? and everything you've worked so hard for. And I think doing some of the things we're gonna discuss as the video progresses are gonna help protect you from these sort of events. The first thing, let's talk about protecting your property. There's a couple things you can do to deter people from ever entering your, your property in the first place. The first way is to one, get an alarm system. You can pay for a service or you can, there's a lot of home, basically like alarm systems you can purchase yourself and install yourself that won't cost you a monthly fee. So there's a couple of different ways you can install alarm. Secondly, you can install security cameras around the, the perimeter of your property to basically video surveillance, anything that's going on. And you can install those yourselves or you can, you can pay for a service. You've probably had people come to your door offering to sell you such a service. It's as simple and as silly as it sounds, guys, but you can just like put up signs and they're more effective than you might think. But because a lot of times if they see a sign saying that, oh, my home's alarmed or, oh, you're watching me, I, I better not break in. And some people go as far as putting up signs that say like, well, hey, if you enter my property, you risk your own life. Like I'm armed and basically I'm armed and dangerous. If you come in here, buddy, your head might get blown off. So don't, don't F with me. I'm not saying you should do that, but those are things people have done. And those are all ways to help deter thugs from ever entering your home in the first place. Fourthly, and one of the simplest, the best things you can do is own a dog. Yeah, if you own a pet, pets will often deter robbers from ever even thinking about coming into your home. Because one, the dog's gonna alert you, right? If somebody's in your backyard, your dog's gonna bark its head off, especially if you have a small little ankle biter kind of dog. It's gonna alert you and might even attack the person trying to enter your backyard or enter your home. Should we talk about how they can protect what's in their wallet? Hey, great idea, Chipper. Protecting your wallet or your purse really starts with keeping a low inventory of bank cards, your credit cards, low inventory of cash, and other personal identification cards. Think of it this way, guys. This is how I think of it. The less you have in your wallet or your purse, the less they can take from you. They can't squeeze blood out of a turnip if you don't got it. Do me a favor. Take the time to write down each of the phone numbers on back of each one of your debit cards, each one of your credit cards that you routinely use, write those numbers down and so you can easily access them if you need them. If you can access those phone numbers and somebody steals your wallet, then you can call them right away and shut them down. They're not gonna be able to hardly take anything from you. The next thing I recommend is I take pictures of my most important personal identification cards. So like think of your, like your insurance cards, driver's license, and other personal ID cards, have those pictures in a secure file or secure place so that if you need to access them, if your wallet's stolen or purse is stolen, then you can. When I say secure place now, I don't mean your phone necessarily, unless you have a really good way to protect your data there. I usually mean outside of your phone in a separate file somewhere in your home that people would not suspect to find it or have copies of this information in a place such as your safety deposit box of your bank. Now let's talk about the insurance side of things. 
You know that really boring document that you never wanna read or don't even know where it's at right now? Your insurance policy? Yeah, that thing. Well, if you don't know where it's at, start by going to your insurance company's website and you can download a copy of your policy into PDF format from there. And so that's what I've done recently. Read through your policy, see what you're covered for, see what steps you would need to take to document or protect your property in case it was ever stolen. Like what was your insurance provider need from you? Would they need pictures? Would they need documentation? Would they need receipts? So figure this stuff all out ahead of time. Unfortunately, people never think about this, these things until it's too late. They never take the time to do this. So it's really important right now, guys. I, I, it's really important you do this right now. Like do this as soon as possible because it might be well worth your time in the long run. I'm not saying anything bad's gonna ever happen to you. I hope it never does, but just in case it ever did, I hope you would be prepared for this. So if you have questions, call your insurance provider, have them walk you through your policy and make sure you understand it. So many people, they have their insurance, but they don't even know what they're covered for. They don't understand it. So call them. Please know I'm not an insurance provider. I don't sell insurance for a living, but I, I do know they often look for, if you want to protect your personal belongings, you can do start by documenting what you have, either in a Word document or an Excel document, and give a good description of what the item is and the dollar value you believe you paid for it. If you have actual receipts, that's even better. The next thing you can do is take pictures. Go around your house and take pictures of your most prized possessions in, in your property. And then beyond pictures, you can even get into video filming your house. Like go to each room, go to your garage, and video, you know, take video of everything you own, slowly but surely, to prove like, hey, this is what I had on my property. And so you can identify what was stolen or what's missing if anybody ever breaks in. Taking these steps and having all this proof will help expedite your claim if you ever need to submit a claim to your insurance provider. Next, let's talk about digital property. I feel like so much of, at least with what I do guys, I don't know about you, but there's so much I do online now and on my computer that if I lost my computer and my files, oh, that would be worse than almost losing anything else in my house. Because that those are things I put time into building. Like, think of like, you know, the spreadsheets I build or the YouTube channel I run here. Think of think if I lost all that, it'd be horrible. All the systems I put in place, it would take me, how much time would that take me to rebuild those systems? So not only think about your possessions from a dollar standpoint, but from a, a lost time standpoint. Think about your, your house, your computer right now. So if I came into your house and I stole your flash drive off your desk, or if I stole your computer, if I open, turn on that computer, how much information could I get from you? Um, it, are the files on those flash drives or on your computer, the ones that contain your private information, very, very like your social security number, your, your banking information, things like that. Have you password protected those files? Make sure you do so, because the worst thing that would happen is, yeah, it's one thing if they steal your computer, but oh man, if they stole your computer and got your all of your identity, that would be even worse in my opinion. So think of things like that. Now, there's all sorts of things you can do to back up your file. So if you have a safety deposit box, you can actually you know, save your files on a flash drive, your most important files, and put, the, put that flash drive at the bank in your safety deposit box. But also, don't forget about the cloud services online, guys. A lot of this stuff you can get for free. And I'm not, I'm not promoting that you pay for a, a monthly fee to get like cloud storage, like on Google or Microsoft or whatever, but there's a lot of space you can get just for free where you can like Google Drive, I think it is, it gives you 15 gigabytes of free space that you can use. Uh, Dropbox, which I use a lot to share my files via YouTube. I think you get two gigabytes for free without paying. And I think Microsoft probably has something like that. I, I haven't looked into all of them, but those are some platforms you can think about using guys. Like just think about what files you wanna keep, you wanna have secure, and that if you lost your computer, you'd wanna be able to download and replace anytime. Is think about, getting things outside of your home, on the cloud, in a secure place. And the when you upload files there, you can even password protect them or encrypt them so that even if somebody were to hack your Dropbox account or your Google Drive account, well, they would still have to figure out your encrypted password to even access those files. So those are all steps you can take to secure your property and in your data files, which I think is just as important as anything else in your home. I will say this though, guys, with the these cloud services, make sure you do your research before you decide to put your 
personal identifiable information. It's known as PII. So any information that could lead people to specifically identify you or compromise your identity, like your social security numbers, driver's license numbers, things like that. Make sure you do your research. Make sure the platform you're using is safe if you ever wanna upload any sort of files to the cloud that contains that type of information about you. Lastly, protect yourself. I don't know if you guys have been seeing this, but gun ownership in America for first time gun owners is exploding in America. There's a tremendous amount of people going out, never bought a gun before, who are now acquiring weapons because they don't know what's coming down the pipeline. So it's like I said, I'm saying this, it's not fear mongering. It's just, this is what we're seeing. We don't know what's coming next and people attacking our homes might be a thing in, in the coming future, in the coming months. I don't know, but I'd rather have you guys be prepared or not. Because as you guys know, like I'm all about helping you guys build your wealth and your finances and other things like that. But you have to, it starts with protecting your family, protecting your possessions, and then growing your assets from there. Now I would never advocate violence by any means, but if know your state's laws around self-defense. So knowing what those laws are, are, are gonna be really important if you ever are put in the position where you have to defend yourself or your life's at risk or your family's life's at risk. And when, when I started this channel a few years ago, guys, these are things I never thought about. But now, with everything going on, these are definitely things I'm thinking about. And I wanna make sure your family's protected. I wanna make sure your stuff is protected. I know, I don't know, I know you don't care that much about your stuff. Like, I don't either, but people will kill you to get to your stuff. Do you understand? People will harm you or, or may physically harm you just to get what you have. So, it's very important you protect yourself and be ready for anything, guys, because I don't know where our country's headed, but just be safe, be smart, be secure, and don't let somebody bully you, threaten you, and infringe upon your freedoms. I love you all, thank you so much for allowing me to share this information with you, but let me know in the comments, guys, what steps you're taking to secure your assets, to secure your family, your well-being, your peace of mind. I would love to hear your ideas, your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe down below to not miss any of our future weekly videos, and most importantly, live life on cage. Take care, guys. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.